streets of Kansas City. Every year, it costs taxpayers thousands of dollars to clean up. 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield joins us in the studio. Ariel, for some, it's vandalism. Others, it's a form of art. That's absolutely right, Allison. Well, in some areas, like West Bottom, graffiti has become an artistic value. Store owners like the art and actually commission people to paint outside of their stores. But in other areas, it's becoming a growing problem, costing homeowners and local businesses thousands of dollars each year. Take a walk around the West Bottoms and you'll see a lot of art on the side of buildings. There's a good graffiti and there's a bad graffiti. Uh, this happens to be good graffiti. Pictures, faces, signatures, you name it. Graffiti art is almost everywhere. Jesse Morden signed off on it for his shop. This doesn't bother us down here. It's, it's, there's nothing wrong with uh, uh, people expressing their talent. But across town, these scribbles paint a different picture. One of a neighborhood now grappling with a growing problem. It's mostly about just what they can vandalize. You know, they want to destroy things. Brian Stadler is the president of the Indian Mound Neighborhood Association. For the past few months, he says they've been struggling with vandalism. Someone tagging the word screw on everything from sides of homes to businesses to street signs and poles. We could spend a whole morning. Uh, or a whole weekend cleaning off graffiti, and then the next week, every day, we're seeing new stuff down the street. Costing taxpayers hundreds of dollars each month, deterring from potential business, too. A neighborhood like this is, uh, it really struggles. We really struggle to bring uh, private investment here. When people come through this area and they just see a lot of graffiti, they're reluctant to invest their money here. In Kansas City, if there is unwanted graffiti near you, you can contact 311 to report the problem. Live in studio, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News. Thank you, Ariel.